I know everybody wants me to talk about the Twitter hack, but there's not enough information for me to talk about the Twitter hack. So I'm not going to. Instead, let's focus on deepfake technology today. To help families refinance their homes, to invest in things like high-tech manufacturing, clean energy, and the infrastructure that creates good new jobs. So a deep fake is basically an audio, photo, video, or any type of recording that seems real, but has been manipulated by AI technology. It's sort of learning to recreate that person's face by looking at the thousands of images over and over and over. <laughs> and the really fucked up part is the better deepfake technology recognition tools get better, right? So there are people who are trying to develop tools to detect whether or not a video is deepfake. So that technology gets better. In turn, all of the deepfake videos are also getting better because they learn from the tools that are trying to de detect the flaws that are within the technology. Does that make sense? What's wild is that this shit started back in the 90s and uh, evolved from just basic academic research around machine learning and artificial intelligence. So as all things emerge within technology, the foundation is on the basis of seeing people naked, right? The internet was made for porn and now here we are. Deepfakes emerged as a source to develop fake pornographic videos of women and then eventually was picked up by the entertainment industry. This is actually a really good simplified definition of deepfake technology. I'm gonna read it for you and it's also here on the screen. There's usually an autoencoder and a generative adversarial network, GAN. Okay. In extremely simple terms, the autoencoder is a computer's way of seeing a face and deciding all of the ways it can animate. It processes how that face would blink, smile, grin, and so on. The GAN is a system through which the images from the autoencoder are compared to real images of the target person. It will reject inaccurate images, causing more attempts to be generated, and the cycle continues indefinitely, inching toward a perfect recreation of the person. In summation, a robot makes an image of a person's facial expressions. Another one tells if the expressions look fake, and they argue until the images are literally perfect. So basically, if I wanted to pretend to be Kourtney Kardashian because people tell me I look like her, I'd be a perfect subject to basically create a dummy video where I say all of the things that I would want to say to maybe disparage Kourtney Kardashian's reputation, and then I just upload all of the fucking images that already exist on the internet of, of her, right? And easily develop a, vid a video that looks like it's Courtney talking, but it's really me talking, but it's all of Courtney's images perfectly placed over my face using this GAN method to create a new video that's almost undetectable by the human eye. Do you see why this is a problem? Everybody has their information publicly available on the internet, our photos, everything that we do, our likes, our interests, fucking everything. And now more and more and more there's technology being developed to manipulate all of that information just know how information is being manipulated and understand that not everything that you see on the internet is what it is and the goal of these videos is to have you guys understand that and be aware of that so you research you question everything you're curious that data is constantly being manipulated right and we are in a society where we're resharing information so fucking quickly and i just i'm trying to get people just conscious about this shit i want you guys to stop convenience clicking and start consciously clicking and consciously sharing and understanding how this technology and the manipulation of technology and social media and data aggregation i think i'm repeating myself but just how it all connects that's the goal for my videos everybody has fucking resources and tools to find the answers so go 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 look for it ask questions find answers be curious you know okay that's it today thank you